VR has definitely taken the world by storm, and right now I would say it's probably one of the most exciting things that is a new development in technology. And that begs the question, is VR worth getting in the year 2021? Now, if you're coming from this video just from Amazon and you already have a VR headset in your Amazon cart and you want this to be the last video, you know, just as a decider, uh, I'm going to say yes. Yes, get it. Uh, depending on which headset you have, I guarantee, I can't guarantee, but I almost guarantee that you're going to have a good time with it and you're going to enjoy it. So just get that VR headset, get a couple of the games you've been eyeballing, and I think you'll definitely appreciate that you bought it. Now for this video, I'm going to break it down into three categories. So the first one's going to be enjoyment. The second one's going to be support for the VR headsets. And the third one is going to be cost. Now for enjoyment, VR is so, so much fun. I just recently got my Oculus Quest 2. And of course, it's not an enthusiast headset. It's more of a mainstream one that anyone can just pick up and go for. Uh, I I've had so much fun with it. I've been playing super hot VR. I've been playing some zombie game that I can't exactly remember the name of. And I've been playing Echo VR and things like that. And it's just a new experience that I I've kind of always wanted to have. Since as a kid, obviously everyone wants to be in the game. You know, you're playing Halo or something and you imagine how it could be to be Master Chief. Or you're in Call of Duty trying to do some cool stuff. You know, you can imagine being the soldier, reloading your gun. And it kind of gives you that feeling. It's not a one-to-one -one replication, but you're standing, you're moving, you're shooting the gun yourself. It's just a new experience, especially if you're a nerd. It's something that I can't recommend enough. And there's so many new experiences that you can have with this. Like, I mean, you can be a wizard if you wanted to. You can be a soldier, like I said before. You can fly, you can be a pilot. You can do all these crazy things in VR that, that you weren't able to do before, just with a mouse and keyboard or just with a controller. It just opens the door to new opportunities that regular consoles and computers couldn't do alone. Now with that, that brings me to my next point, which is support. Now, of course, when VR first came out, they were super expensive and there wasn't a lot of games for them because it was kind of a new technology and of course when new things add up people are kind of scared to test things out and try to make their own stuff for it but now vr has kind of come out of its infancy and there's a lot more support for it there's a ton of new games coming out like i said echo vr which is actually a free game on the quest uh things like beat saber which are incredibly popular games and a ton of different stuff i know medal of honor made a game for vr and there's a lot more games coming out and of course half-life alex which is a game by valve who doesn't make games very often and everyone yelling at them for a new half-life or a new portal but instead they went into vr because it was something new and exciting that they wanted to try and it, it looks like an amazing game and i can't wait to play it and i know this sounds like an advertisement for vr but as you can see i have 41 subscribers as i'm making this video and there's definitely no company that's going to sponsor me right now for vr but i'll just go off of reference right now for what i have so i have the oculus quest 2 which is a wonderful budget headset, one of the cheapest ones out there. Uh, usually the cheaper ones are going to use your phone as the main computer. This one doesn't. It has its own computer inside. It's a very nice, well-built, robust headset. It's fairly comfortable. Not the most comfortable thing I've put on my head, but it's a VR headset and the experience is fine by me. Uh, it's just an amazing headset. Two controllers and the headset itself and a charging cable is pretty much all you get. And that's really all you need because everything you just do off of your phone and it's a wonderful thing but this isn't an ad for an oculus quest you just want to know if you if you should get your vr headset so that brings me to my next point which is cost now vr when it started like i said it was very expensive but now since the technology is getting more and more common and a lot of people are more using vr and stuff they're able to make this headset that I got for around $300 on Amazon, which is absurd for what it is. And obviously you don't have to get the Oculus Quest like I did. It's definitely the most popular one and you do have to sign up with Facebook. Uh, I, I would not recommend doing that. If you have a Facebook account, don't use your Facebook account. I made a new one just for this. Uh, I don't condone Facebook's information tracking trash. I hate it and I think it's terrible. And the games on it is, are relatively cheap. I got the zombie game that I was talking about for $10 and I got super hot VR for $17 on a sale. And the most expensive I've seen a game is $40. And compared to the first party titles that come out that are $60 and these insane amounts for the deluxe editions, $80, $100, $120 for the special edition. It's not like that on VR. You can go through and find a very popular game that people really enjoy for under $20. And with that, I, I think it's just a, a steal. 
I mean, getting a, a VR headset for $300 like I did, and then going and getting an amazing game that'll take a couple hours to play that you can enjoy afterwards for $10. So right now, basically what I'm saying as we come to the conclusion is yes, you should get a VR headset if you've been looking at one. Now, if you're wanting to get into gaming, I wouldn't recommend getting a VR headset just straight off the bat. I would recommend getting a little console for yourself, just going into it and, you know, testing the waters because I, I assume if you're watching this video, then you're a nerd and you want VR already. So it, it, if you're like me and you've been looking at VR for years, waiting for it to be the right time, I definitely think now is the right time. I think now is the right time to get a basic headset. You don't have to get something like the Valve Index or the HTC Vive. Just get something simple like the Oculus Quest, or maybe the, even the Oculus Rift S. And if you don't want to go through Facebook's company and stuff, then go look for something different. There's nothing wrong with what you get as long as you have the experience because it's something that isn't matched by anything else. And I think it's very much worth trying if you're in the gaming world. Hey guys, I just wanted to throw this at the end of the video. Uh, I know this is a different style of video from what I usually make, but if you could drop a like and subscribe, that'd be great. Uh, I also have a book out and the paperback is coming out soon. So if you'd like to support me at all, a uh, link will be in the description. Uh, that'd be really great if you could check it out and help me out. The ebook's only $5, I would really appreciate it. I hope to make more stuff like this in the future. So uh, just let me know what you think about it. Drop a comment below if you have any thoughts. Uh, drop a like if you could. And if you didn't like it, drop a dislike. You're free to do that. That's why it's there. But yeah, thank you again for watching. Uh, and I hope you have a great day.